The U.S. Congress has approved a bill to provide $225 million in emergency. In a pretty dysfunctional Congress, we finally did something, I think, that really will matter in a positive way. By unanimous, unanimous consent, the Senate agreed to send $225 million worth of assistance through Iron Dome to Israel. Graham says the Senate vote is a signal to Tel Aviv that the U.S. is there when Israel needs it. Earlier, the Pentagon announced that it was making more ammunition deliveries to Israel. Meanwhile, President Barack Obama has pledged that the U.S. would continue to work with Tel Aviv to enable it to protect itself against Palestinian resistance fighters. Well, to discuss that further, I'm joined by Mr. Riyad Bahsoun, who is a strategy expert, who's joining us live now from Beirut. Sir, thank you very much for joining us here on Press TV. Now, how do you react to this news that the U.S. Congress has approved this, this, you know, this, this emergency aid for the Iron Dome? Okay, it's not a surprise. It is there to reflect the fact that uh, among all the aspects of the conflict that is now uh, entering the 27th day, the main aspect that is, uh, let's say, considered by, by the legislators in the U.S. is the protection of the Israeli population from the rockets that are launched by Hamas or, or Islamic Jihad. So it means that uh, uh, there is a, a certain rank of priorities, and as usual, as always, we should say, the priority is to support Israel uh, and unanimously and without even discussion. And that's, uh, that's, a, a, real, uh, that's a real issue because uh, what we are seeing today is, on the contrary, uh, a, a disproportion used of, 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 of weaponry and that is uh, mainly hitting the Gazan population, and, and that is a problem. Uh, so how does this hypocrisy then, how do we come to terms with this hypocrisy on the, on the part of the U.S. government? Because, you know, the U.S. government has criticized Israel for civilian casualties and for attacking U.N. facilities. Yes, I think that they, they, the, 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 the criticism about attacking the U.N. Uh, uh, facilities is, is, is hypocrisy because, uh, in fact, it was intended to express kind of a, a, a formal support to the UN. However, under the table, there is a support for such attack against UN facilities because what Israel wanted to do is to send a message to the UN representatives there and to tell them that if you want to express position that is in support to the, to the fate of the Palestinian population in Gaza, so you will get hit, and uh, uh, I would not be surprised if we, 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 we witness some action, similar action in the, in the coming days. And this is something that has occurred also in South Lebanon in 96 and, and, and even before. And uh, it's not something that is new when, when the UN officers on the ground, on the military theater, express, uh, let's say, a position that is not uh, uh, serving Israel's interest. Uh, they are hit military like target, like military target, and and there is always kind of a condemnation, but formal de condemnation, but no action. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. But of course, we do appreciate your comments here on Press TV. That was Mr. Riyad Bahsoun speaking just live from Beirut.